So we spend a ton of money online, on our website, on our branding, on our social. Let's make sure they actually do something when they get there. That's what we're gonna talk about today. I think the dream as a business owner is that every single person who comes to your website is gonna take some kind of action, whether it be sign up for your newsletter, follow you on social media, read your content, subscribe to your blog. We have all kinds of things we want them to do on the very first visit. I liken that to, uh, I'm on a first date, and about 20 minutes in after the appetizers, you ask me to get married. And then I make my emergency text to my friend so I can get out of the restaurant. You have to understand that that's not necessarily what the visitor wants to do, it's what we want them to do. So you have these micro snackable moments a snackable moment is every time they visit the website, they get a little piece, a part of the website. So it's not like they're gonna go immediately to the website, fill out the contact form and say, I'm ready to hire you. I mean, that's the dream click scenario, but it's much harder to get that to happen unless you woo them a little bit, right? I need a little bit of wooing. I need a drink, I wanna go out, I wanna be casual. I wanna to get to know you. So with that in mind, let's take a look at my website and a few of my clients' websites, and let's talk a little bit about what does it mean to build and plan a website for conversion. And when I say conversion, I mean they do something, which is always better than them bouncing off. So if you look at your Google Analytics and you have a high bounce rate, bounce rate means they come to the website, they don't go to any other pages, and then they leave because they're not finding anything that's really meaningful to them. So let's take a look at my website real quick here and then let me point out some of the things that I do on all of my websites uh, and my clients' websites to, to make sure that we're getting the most out of a visitor. Okay, so here's my website. A couple things to think about is they need to take an action before they scroll down. So what you're seeing here is we start with the logo on the left because that's how I read left to right. So I'm gonna start on the left. I'm gonna come all the way over to the right. You'll see I have a big phone number now I could actually make that a little better as opposed to call us, I could put speak to an expert. That would be better. I'll pay a note to myself, I'll, I'll tweak that a little bit. Then right next to the phone number is my five social media icons. Do not put the social media icons in the footer because that's anti-social media. You want social media and if you're gonna take it seriously, then you definitely wanna put it up there. Now with that said, if you're not doing any social media and you have like two followers, then it's probably a good idea just to leave it off altogether until you decide that you're gonna really make that a part of your overall marketing strategy. Otherwise, it could be a little embarrassing, potentially. All right, so now we're gonna come down. What's important here is that when people are skimming websites, so they understand exactly where to go. And there's something called a personality indicator. Personality indicators are, who are you? Are you a small business owner? Are you a solopreneur? Are you a Fortune 500 with a marketing team? Those are three persona models that I do, that I think about whenever I'm writing content on my website. So it's important that people understand when they look at your service offerings, they can quickly discern coaching retreats and speaking, right? They can go right to what they think they need, then we can start the wooing process. Now I'm scrolling down. So here you'll see that all of my YouTube videos are right there. So I want people to know that when they come to my website, I have touched it every single day, even with just my YouTube feed, because we've launched you new YouTubes Monday through Friday. So I have a feed there so people see my most current work and that I am on my A game. I'm not just building a website and never touching it again. So what happens is, you know, Google comes to your website right after you launch it, usually 24 to 48 hours, and then grabs all the content, comes back in another 24 hours and says, what do you got, what do you got? And, and nothing, and then it comes back in 48 hours. What do you got, what do you got? Nothing. So what's happening is you're training Google to ignore you. So by adding new content to your homepage or to your blog as often as possible, you're training Google to pay attention to you. And the more they pay attention to you, the more better you're gonna rank. It also, when it comes to conversion, when someone comes to your website, they see that your videos are current, your blogs are current, you are on, you know, you're at the cutting edge of your field. Now scroll down. You'll see that I've got any time you can create a score or an assessment. People love assessments. So what I want you to think about is what kind of assessment could we come up with? Something very simple that you can do to get people to do something on your website. I used a tool called Quizzer and it's Q-U-I-Z-Z-R.com. 
And Quizzer, you could go in there and say, what's your website personality? And so I came up with three questions for each personality. So you have a Taylor Swift website, you have a Scandal website, you had a, a grumpy website, and then it was something else. Like they were all celebrities, and you could attach a celebrity with your website personality. Now that's just a really simple, fun thing to do. But for me, I've got this grading tool you see in front of you. You put your domain name, your email address, and then your phone number, and you're instantly able to get a score. People love a score. And then I collect those email addresses, and then I remarket to them. But they get something instantly, and I get their email address, which is great. Then you'll see here that if you really have a complicated selling process, having a map is very important. So you'll see here that I have what I call my Candyland map. So they can go in. Now each one of these is clickable and each one is animated. They kind of shake a little bit. So that as people are going through it and as soon as people ask me, how do I work with you? I immediately take them to the map and I walk them through the process. So whether it's attending a retreat, whether it be hiring us for private coaching or bringing us in to work with your marketing team, it's the same process for everybody we work with. And then finally, as you come down here, there's credibility icons. Now these credibility icons are called trust indicators. And a trust indicator is where I can just scan over those and I can see that you are someone who knows their stuff. Don't fill up the whole page with icons, that's so irritating. It's almost like you're beating your chest and saying, pay attention to me. I want you to think about the fact that you can have these icons, but put them lower on the page. And also, you know, make sure that I can find your phone number. That's the best thing you could possibly do. And of course, contact us is right there as well. So when you're thinking about conversion, remember it's not about you. It's about remembering that when people visit the website, they're all showing up at a different level in their decision-making process. Make sure when you look at your website that you're identifying, yes, I'll have this, yes, I want that, Yes, I'll have this. So look at the yeses and see how many yeses do you have. If the contact page is the only yes, then you've got some work to do. If you have a website or you're getting ready to build a new website, let's talk. You can sign up for a findability review. I'll get on the phone with you for an hour and we'll take a look at your website and see maybe why is it you're not getting those conversions that you really want. You'll leave with that meeting with a report on how to tighten up your website technically all the keywords that you currently rank for, and then some strategic tips and tricks on how to improve your website right away. So visit findability.com, hit the contact button at the very top right of my page, and you can, you can sign up for a website review with me. I look forward to it, and I can't wait to see you at the top of search results very soon.